Hello YouTubers. Since I began making videos about the United States and China, relations have progressively deteriorated. First, let's be clear about United States intentions. The purpose of the trade war is to either damage the Chinese economy or to damage the Chinese currency. Uh, I think there's an article that was just published by Bloomberg that gives a clear indication of this. The article goes into a somewhat detailed analysis on potential impacts of the trade war, given certain scenarios. The concluding passage, however, is the important part of the article. It states, with China the biggest potential loser from the trade war, the yuan, already overvalued according to Powell's model, stands out, along with the Thai bot and the Canadian dollar. The article didn't present any evidence that China is the biggest potential loser from the trade war, but they are trying to make the case that the yuan is already overvalued and that if conditions further deteriorate, it could cause the yuan to be further devalued. With decreasing confidence in the yuan, it will fall at a further rate, which is kind of what's meant by it's already overvalued. Whether you agree with their analysis or not isn't the point. While I personally don't agree with their view that China is the biggest potential loser in the trade war, this article does, to some extent, reveal the purpose of the trade war. In short, Bloomberg is saying, we think the yuan is going to be devalued. Well, that's something that pretty much anyone that's been paying attention to the trade war can predict, so they're not making any new conclusions there. The trade war is having an impact on the value of the yuan. That is, the devaluation of the yuan is a direct result of United States actions. But China is also actively working to diversify its economic interests away from the United States economy. Also, the Chinese central bank has been propping up the yuan as a direct result of the trade war. In short, China is working to stabilize the yuan that the United States is damaging and to become less reliant on the United States economy. I make this point because the Chinese view the trade war as an attack on the core of their economic system and an attack on their sovereignty. China isn't going to budge from this. The state-run uh, state news Xinhua recently published an article that emphasized why China will not budge on its prerogative about how to manage its economy. It stated at the negotiating table, the United States government has made many arrogant requests, including restricting the development of state-owned enterprises. Obviously, this is beyond the field and scope of trade negotiations and touches upon China's fundamental economic system. The article went on to say that this demonstrates that behind the trade war the United States has launched against China, there is an attempt to violate China's economic sovereignty and compel China to damage its own core interests. As I said in my previous video called Why the United States Will Start World War III, I specifically stated that, mark my words, America is threatened by the Chinese economy. The trade war was started to dismantle the Chinese economy. Either America will destroy the Chinese economy, possibly its own economy, or China's economy will overtake the American economy. I also asked, does anyone think that China would willingly destroy its economy for America's benefit? I also stated that China isn't stupid and that it realizes that war is coming. Here we are several months later and the situation has deteriorated significantly. China has become increasingly aggressive and has come to the view that the trade war as an attack on their sovereignty. There's become increasing tensions between the United States and China in the South China Sea with the expectation of more tensions in the future. Folks, it's this simple. America is attempting to destroy the Chinese economy. Unless America is successful at destroying the Chinese economy, war with China is coming. And then think of the impact that would have on America and the global economy. Folks, if you're wanting honest reporting and thoughtful analysis, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks for your time, and as always, I welcome your comments.